Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a Logic Pro X tip and trick tutorial video on ADSR. So I'm going to show you how you can get a vocoded or vocoder style vocal or synth sound using nothing but Logic's Evoc 20 Poly Synth. So let's play this demo real quick. All right, so. There are actually two tracks of vocoded goodness occurring right now. It's this MIDI track as well as this audio. I'll talk about why I have two of them in a little bit. This red track is nothing but a bass. Just for reference, these are the drums. Okay, now this purple track is our audio track. So let's just jump into this. First things first, the uh, Polysynth, the Evoc 20 Polysynth, it isn't the best synth out there by far <laughs> for vocoder sounds in 2017. There's Infected Mushroom Manipulator, there is Vocal Synth by Isotope, and there's some other ones. But if you guys don't have those tools and you want the sound, you can achieve cool, pretty cool results with this synth. Um, if you actually spend more time than I, th this took me about five to 10 minutes to put together, uh, you could probably get some really cool results with it. So first thing you're gonna do is load up a new tr a software instrument track and you're going to choose the Evoc Poly. Uh, mine was down in Logic Stock because this is how I had it organized. So you're going to choose that, and it should look like this. And it'll be probably pretty small. You can resize it if you need to. So next thing you want to do is go to your vocal track, and you're going to mute the output of it. So this is our vocal track in this example. Didn't even hear you. But we didn't hear that when I played the demo. That's because I set the output to no output because I just want this audio triggering my instance of the Evoc Poly, right? And I'm gonna be playing chords, which you can see here in the MIDI, to achieve that triggering, to play, to get that vocoded sound, right? So it's a whole chord of that weird robotic vocoded vocal sound. So this is set to no output. And you'll notice that I turned off the buses on this. It, this works better if you don't have a lot of reverb and delay on it. Uh, I have, there's like a little bit of slap back delay on the vocal track coming from CLA vocals, but there's not huge, you know, large like chamber or hall type reverb going on. So let's go back into my, uh, we'll call this vocoder, so you guys can see. So I named this uh, <laughs> Dis some boo shit because I could not find the track for some reason in the sidechain. So first thing you're gonna do is open this up, go to your sidechain and select your audio. Mine's called Dis some boo shit. Now next thing you're gonna do is by default, it'll be set on synth for signal. Now when it's set to synth, you can actually play this thing like a synth. Uh, if I play a key here, I play a chord. Right, that's the patch that I kind of tweaked to fit this sound. Now, if we set this to vocal and I start hitting my keys, you can hear me banging on those. There's no sound. That's because it's set to vocal and it's set to audio three for my side chain. So now if I play this and I'm gonna mute the drums and the bass, we now have sound, the vocoder sound. So a few other controls of note that you might want to tweak about with is you definitely want to set this to poly if you're playing more than one note at a time in your MIDI. Uh, you also probably want to mess around with the ensemble modes. So listen to it with the ensemble on. And then there's even a unison mode as well. And you have a different wave generation. You have dual and FM. I personally like the FM. Now you also have format stretch, format shift, and resonance. And then you have a frequency band up top, right? So again, it's not the coolest vocoder out there, but you can actually get some really interesting results with it. So what I did was I loaded up, I just went through and tweaked a couple uh, patches, right? So we'll do this again. Let's go and choose another one. And we'll do Silky Strings. So on synth, it sounds like this. So let's set this to vocal. Make sure that our side chain is set up here. Make sure it's set to poly. That's pretty cool. So this vocal track, the one down here is called voc Vocoder FX, or this audio track rather. I bounced that. So this was just another instance of the same process 
tuned a little bit lower. So now I have a more of a wider octave spread. It's a pretty cool sound. Now they actually have some vocoder type sounds set up here. So let's try these. So they have some LFO happening, uh, kind of giving the sound some movement, which is pretty cool. So, like I said, you can actually get some really interesting results using nothing but the Evoc 20 Polysynth. Man, that name is terrible. <laughs> um, it is the vocoder synth in Logic X. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.